Hi boys and girls. I had to record inside again today because we have quite the rainy day today. Fish is Fish, written and illustrated by Leo Liani. Fish is Fish. At the edge of the woods, there was a pond and there a minnow and a tadpole swam among the weeds. They were inseparable friends. One morning, the tadpole discovered that during the night, he had grown two little legs. Look, he said triumphantly, look, I am a frog. Nonsense, said the minnow. How could you be a frog if only last night you were a little fish, just like me? They argued and argued until finally the tadpole said, Frogs are frogs. Fish is fish. And that's that. In the weeks that followed, the tadpole grew two tiny front legs. And his tail got smaller and smaller. And then... One day, a real frog now, he climbed out of the water and onto the grassy bank. We saw our tadpoles turn into frogs too. The minnow too had grown and had become a full-fledged fish. He often wondered where his four-footed friend had gone, but days and weeks went by and the frog did not return. Poor minnow. Then one day, with a happy splash that shook the weeds, the frog jumped into the pond. Where have you been? asked the fish excitedly. I have been about the world, hopping here and there, said the frog, and I have seen extraordinary things. Like what? asked the fish. Birds, said the frog mysteriously. Birds! And he told the fish about the birds, who had wings and two legs and many, many colors. As the frog talked, his friend saw the birds flying through his mind, like large feathered fish. What else? asked the fish impatiently. Cows, said the frog. Cows, they have four legs, horns, eat grass, and carry pink bags of milk. <laughs> And people, said the frog, men, women, children. And he talked and talked until it was dark in the pond. But the picture in the fish's mind was full of lights and colors and marvelous things, and he couldn't sleep. Ah, uh, if only he could jump about like his friend and see that wonderful world. And so the days went by. The frog had gone, and the fish just lay there dreaming about birds in flight, grazing cows, and those strange animals all dressed up that his friend called people. <laughs> One day he finally decided that come what may, he too must see them. And so with a mighty whack of his tail, he jumped clear out of the water and onto the bank. He landed in the dry, warm grass. And there he lay, gasping for air, unable to breathe or to move. Help, he groaned feebly. Why can't he move? Why can't he breathe? Fish need water to breathe. They can't survive on land. Luckily, the frog, who had been hunting butterflies nearby, saw him and with all his strength pushed him back into the pond. Still stunned, the fish floated about for an instant. Then he breathed deeply, letting the clean, cool water run through his gills. Now he felt weightless again, and with an ever so slight motion of the tail, he could move to and fro, up and down, as before. The sun rays reached down within the weeds and gently shifted patches of luminous color. This world was surely the most beautiful of all the worlds. 
he smiled at his friend the frog, who sat watching him from a lily leaf. You were right, he said. Fish is fish. The end. What's cool about our frogs is that when they're little tadpoles, they have gills so they can breathe underwater. And then as they get bigger and their arms grow and their legs grow, they grow lungs and they have to breathe air. So frogs are born in the water, but when they're adults, they live on land and the water. Fish are different. Fish are born in the water, but they need to stay in the water because they never grow lungs to breathe air. But fish and other sea creatures use their gills to help them breathe underwater. The end.